Hello everyone, welcome to the Codeverse. In this video, we will learn about what is ArrayList, why do we need it and how ArrayList works. ArrayList is created to overcome the limitations of an array. So, before understanding ArrayList, we need to learn what are the limitations of an array. As we all know, array is a collection of the same type of elements and we have to define the size of array while creating it. For example, if we have to store 5 elements, then we have to define the size of an array 5 before adding the elements into it. So, we should know the size of array before defining it, but in real life, it is very difficult to guess the size of array. Let's understand this with the help of example. Consider I have to develop a software for a hospital system. So for storing patient name, I have created an array of a size 100. Our program will work perfectly for 100 patient. But what if 101 patient comes here, our program will fail because we can only store 100 elements in our array. So in real life, we cannot predict how many numbers user want to save in the array. Some of you might say that we should define the size of array as too large, like 10,000. So when we define the size of array, then Java will allocate the memory for all the elements in an array. Means if we are defining the size of array as 10,000, then Java will allocate the memory for all 10,000 elements. And if we are storing only 100 or 200 elements, then we are wasting a lot of memory. So most important limitation of an array is we have to define the size of array while creation. How can we overcome this limitation? Here ArrayList comes into the picture. Consider ArrayList as a smart array which will automatically increase its size when needed. So we don't have to define the size of ArrayList while creating it. ArrayList will automatically resize itself for us. Initial size of ArrayList is 10, means memory will be allocated for only 10 elements. Once ArrayList is 75% full, it will automatically increase its size by 50%. Means when we add the 7th element, then ArrayList will automatically increase its size to 15, that is by 50%. ArrayList uses array in the backend for storing the elements. So Java cannot actually resize the array. For increasing the size of ArrayList from 10 to 15, Java will automatically create a new array with the size 15. And then Java will automatically copy all the elements to the new array. And once it is done with the copying, then the old array will be deleted. ArrayList comes with a lot of building function, such as sort function, which will sort the array list. We will learn about more such a function in the next section of video. Let's understand the syntax of ArrayList. ArrayList is a part of java.util package. So to use ArrayList, we have to import it using import java.util.star statement. It will allow us to use all the classes which are present in java.util package. After it, we have to create an ArrayList in our main method. Its syntax is keyword array list then in angular bracket we have to define the type of array list means if we want to store the strings then we will define type as a string after it name of array list we will keep name of our array list as friends after it equal to operator and new keyword and then name of a class that is array list and then again type in the angular bracket and then open and close brackets it's the normal syntax that we use to create the object of a class that is first class name, then object name, then equal to operator and then constructor. Now our array list is ready to add elements. We have to use add function to add elements. We can pass the name or string to the add function and it will automatically gets added to the next index in an array list. So let's add the five elements in an array list. So five strings that we want to store are Ross, Rachel, Joy, Chandler and Phoebe. Similar to array, we can access the element in an array list using index. So to access the element at index 2, we have to use get method and pass 2 as a parameter to that method. So if we use friends, which is the name of our array list dot get 2, then it will return a joy. Similarly, if you want to know how many elements are stored in an array list, then we have to use size function. In our case, it will return 5 because we have 5 elements stored in our list. If we want to get an index of any element in an array list, then we can use index of function and then pass element to it. Means if I want to know at what index Chandler is saved, then I will use friends dot index of Chandler. So this statement will return a 3 which is the index of a Chandler. And if element is not present, then index of function will return minus 1. So index of function is also used for searching the element. Similarly, you can perform a lot of operation in an array like sorting, removing elements, etc. You can see the syntax on the screen. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.